This equation will work much the same way. Since they want this in slope-intercept form, that's what we will do. So our line will take on, or our equation rather, will take on this form. Then we have the y equals slope times the x plus the y-intercept. So like we did in the previous example, we have the basis for our foundation, y equals, and right here is where I'm going to replace where the slope is, or what the slope is, which it gave to us right here. Slope is 6, 7. So in this space, the coefficient of x, I'm going to replace with 6 sevenths, just like it told us up there. Now the y-intercept in this case is given to us as well. Again, the reason we know this is because the x value is 0. So we know that the y value of the y-intercept is the negative 4. Now, we could write plus a negative 4, but uh, there's no reason to do that. We can just write this as a negative 4 like this. And this is our completed slope-intercept form of the equation.